Namaste. Namaste. Uh, I'm assuming you're all aware, but just in case you're not, today we're practicing for the UNICEF um, Children of Gaza Crisis Appeal. So just the fact that you're here, the subscription and the donation you make for the class where all the money will be donated. And so I'll do that tomorrow with the end of the term. Um, what we're going to do at the beginning is we're going to just chant peace mantra. The Probably the most famous peace mantra is Om Namo Narayanaya. So Om is the vibration of your own mind, your own body, and this whole created universe. Namo is another way of saying like Namaste. It means like salutations to, I bow down to. And Narayana is a name of Vishnu. So Vishnu is a preserver of order in the universe and the stabilizing energy that brings order in society. That's something we really need at the moment. So we're going to invoke that energy by chanting the Om Namo Narayana Mantra. The way it works is I chant it, you chant it back to me. We do that three times. On the fourth time, we just chime in and we chant it together. Mm -hmm. Inhale deeply for Om. Oh. Om Namo Narayanaya 
Om Namo Narayanaya Om Namo Narayanaya Om Namo Narayanaya Om Namo Narayanaya Om Namo Narayanaya Om Namo Narayanaya Om Namo Narayanaya Om Namo Narayanaya Om Namo Narayanaya Om Namo Narayanaya Om Namo Narayanaya Om Namo Narayanaya Om Namo Narayanaya Om Namo Narayanaya Om Namo Narayanaya Om Namo Narayanaya Om Namo Narayanaya Om Namo Narayanaya Om Namo Narayanaya Om Namo Narayanaya Om Namo Narayanaya Om Namo Narayanaya Om Namo Narayanaya Shanti 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 Om Peace 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 Bring your hands into Anjali Mudra, bow your head. Offer your practice today to all victims of this of this conflict. Namaste. Welcome, everyone. I'm going to start with a reading. This is actually a story um, written by my teacher, uh, Lady Ruth, we call her, Ruth Laumanenti. She's up there on the right-hand side of the altar. It's called Man Cannot Live by Bread Alone. It starts with a um, quotation from the Bhagavad Gita, Song of the Lord. All beings in the world are strung on the Lord as pearls on a thread. Once you are able to see God in the beautiful and the sacred, then you start to see God everywhere. Like beads on a necklace or rays of the sun, we are all children of God. All beings in the world are strung on the Lord as pearls on a thread. Once you are able to see God in the beautiful and the sacred, then you start to see God everywhere. Like beads on a necklace or rays of the sun, we are all children of God. Bhagavad Gita, chapter 7, verse 7. Once when I was in San Francisco, I visited some friends who had a yoga center in the city. They were giving a class on vegan cooking and invited me to come. I'm always looking for new recipes, especially for my husband, so I took the class. The money raised from the class fee would be used to make a meal on Thanksgiving in the local soup kitchen. They suggested a donation for the class, even though I didn't live in San Francisco and wouldn't be there on Thanksgiving and wouldn't need to go to the soup kitchen for my meal. I wanted to give a donation. After the class, I went to the service for a friend of mine who had passed away from cancer. She was a great dancer and master of what is called a desi dance, which comes from the Orissa region in India and has a lot of intricate footwork. It looks easy, but in fact, it's very difficult. My friend spent 23 years in India learning this technique. At the service, they were collecting money for a trust in her name. 
for those who wanted to go abroad and study this type of dance could go. I wanted to give a donation. After visiting San Francisco, I went to San Diego, where some of my friends have a yoga center. After class, I was in the dressing room and saw a flyer posted on the wall describing an upcoming workshop. The purpose of the workshop was to raise money for a student in their community with cancer who had no medical insurance. Even though I couldn't take the workshop, I went to the lady at the front desk and registered for it. She said, but you're not going to be here. Well, that's okay, I'd like to make a donation. Yes, but you won't even be here, she repeated. Yes, but I'd like to, I said. On my way back to New York, there was a kid standing in front of me at the airport dressed like a soldier. I couldn't believe he was a soldier because he just looked like a kid. He had braces and pimples and was chubby like I was at that age. When we had to show our IDs, I saw he had a special ID for the military. The security guard that he handed his ID to said, ID to said, Thank you for serving. Take care over there. Thank you, he said. Immediately I thought, gosh, I wish him well. He's just a kid. I hope everything goes okay for him. Then I thought, whoever he thinks his enemy is, I wish them well too. On the plane, I recalled a friend of mine who has a sick friend. I had been calling her during the week to ask how her friend was, and I could tell from the sound of her voice that her friend wasn't doing well. I'd never met her friend, but I knew her name and it kept coming into my mind. I kept thinking of this woman and her name. In these ways, you connect yourself to everybody. Yoga means to join. It doesn't happen overnight, that feeling of being connected to all people, but it starts to unfold through practice of yoga. In the Bhagavad Gita, the Lord says to his student, Arjuna, I am everywhere. I am in all people. I am in all beings. I am in everything. I am in front of you, behind you, to the right of you, to the left of you. I am everybody's grandfather. When we feel connected to everyone, really we're connected to the Lord. Otherwise it's like, I don't know the people at the soup kitchen. I don't care about the arts. I don't have cancer. And I don't want to believe in what's happening in this war. When we're self-absorbed and cut off from others, really, we're cut off from God. If we're cut off from God, it leads to profound malnourishment and we'll always be hungry. Bad habits arise out of hunger, disorders, compulsive behaviours, overindulgence, prejudice, violence and greed, all come from excessive hunger that can never be satisfied when we're cut off from the Lord and all his creatures. What I love about teaching yoga, practicing yoga, sharing yoga, wherever I've been in the world to practice and study yoga. But now, <laughs> mostly, this, the most important thing. So what Lady Ruth translates yoga as here is to join, to join together. What are we doing here? What is this for? Not just this day, but every day we come together. When we come together, we come together in a yoga class, in a yoga environment, there is no division. 
there's no race, there's no cultural difference, there's no religion, there's no difference in ourselves spiritually, there's no class, there's no caste, there's no status, there's no division of wealth. Yoga is something that joins everybody together. And this is the world, this is kind of like an image of the world that I want to see, that I like to see. This is a more image of a more beautiful world that we all know is possible. If only we could wake up to the fact that there's no difference between each one of us. There's a message of Lady Ruth's story. So here she's translated the word yoga as to join. But you can translate yoga, the word yoga, in different ways. I also like the translation of the word yoga as intimacy. So intimacy with what? Firstly, through the practice of yoga, you develop intimacy with your own self, through your own breath, through your own body, through the way you work with your own mind. You become very intimate with your own self. When you become intimate with your own self and you see yourself with compassion and love and you're able to accept yourself just as you are, then you're able to accept others. You're ex able to see others as a reflection of yourself. And that changes your view of the world. And remember that the first yogic vow is ahimsa. It means not to harm in thought, word, or indeed. But that also implies something else. It implies that when we have the opportunity, we help others. That also is a himsa. So we are coming together here and we're doing what we're doing today to help people who we're never going to know, to help people we're probably never going to meet or see. But they're also part of us. So the people who are suffering in this conflict at the moment aren't other. They are us. They're our fathers, our mothers, our husbands, our wives, our brothers, our sisters, our daughters, our sons, our pets, our friends. There's no difference. That's what yoga teaches us. to see others as ourselves. That's also a definition of yoga. Namaste. All right, darling. Okay, come to the front of your mat, standing for asana. Stagger yourselves a little bit on your mats. Stand into Dasana, chest up, chin down, look hard. Shoulders back and down. Move your arm bones back slightly so your chest lifts. Big toes touching or feet parallel. Come into your Ujjayi breathing. Take a few moments to connect to the sensation of the breath in the center of your chest. The breath beginning there and the breath returning to there, Hridaya. On the inhale, arms wide and open, arms. Lift up out of your hips, exhale, widen down. Again, inhale, widen overhead, flip your palms, lift up, 
Exhale, widen down, slowly with the breath. Inhale, widen overhead, two, on three, on four, on five. Lift up, stay. Exhale, don't move. Chin down, look hard. Hold the breath out, chin on chest, banders. Lift. Inhale there. Begin the exhale, lower the arms. Two, on three, on four, on five. Pass for bangi, side stretch. Inhale, widen overhead. Two, on three, on four, on five. And then to the right, move the hips to the left, ground the feet, lift the chin, look straight ahead. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center, chin down, lift. Exhale, right, lift the chin, look at the horizon line. Stay, short inhale, long exhale. Hold the breath out, pause. Inhale, center. Chin down, lift. Exhale, left. Look straight ahead. Ground the inseams of the feet so you can feel the prana move all the way through the spine and the body. Short inhale, long exhale. Top shoulder back. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, Tadasana. Ardha Uttanasana, half forward fold. Inhale, arms widen overhead, flip your palms. Chin down, look navel. Exhale, hips back, fold halfway. Inhale up, arch back at the top. Exhale, fold halfway. Ujjayi breathing, please. Stay. Inhale, arms wide like wings. Dip the chest, lift the arms. Exhale forward, flip the palms. Push the hips back away from the hands. Chin down. Inhale, come up. Arch back, chin down. Exhale, fold all the way. Uttanasana. Hands to the floor of the legs. Relax your neck. Flip the palms, inhale all the way up. Arch back a little bit at the top. Exhale all the way down. Take the big toes, slide the hands under the feet or hold the legs. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold, round the back, head towards the knees. Short inhale. Long exhales, three breaths. Completely relax the neck, gently gaze, tip of nose. Ujjayi breathing, please. Relax your neck, let the head hang loose. After your three breaths, make your way up. And we'll... Flipping the palms, coming up slowly. Utkatasana. Inhale, arms forward and up shoulder level. Chin down, look navel. Exhale, squat halfway. Thighs no more than parallel to the floor. Chin down, look navel. Lift the perineum, lift the chest. Inhale, stand up. Arm shoulder level. Shoulders down. Exhale, halfway. Inhale, arms wide like wings. 
Exhale, arms forward. Shoulder level. Stay there, inhale. Long exhale. Keep going until you're empty. You feel the perineum lift, chin down. Lift your chest up. Push your knees forward. Good, and then next inhale, come up. Keep the arms at shoulder level. And exhale, Tadasana. Okay. One Surya Namaskar. Inhale. Exhale, palms together, Anjali Mudra. Inhale, arms widen overhead. Flip your palms. Exhale, fold forward all the way. Little shallow inhale into the back of the heart. Exhale, squat down, bend the knees, round the back, heels may rise, forehead to knees. Full Utkatasana. Little inhale into the back of the heart, hold the breath. Hop or step back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Knees may be down, don't struggle. All the way to the floor, full prostration, inhale, hands in prayer. Forehead on the ground, feet together. Exhale, hands back, Chaturanga. Empty your lungs there. Inhale, upward facing dog, chin down, hold. Exhale, downward facing dog, chin down. Take a breath. Normal inhale. Long exhale. Hold the breath out, hop or step forward, Ukatasan. Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, round the back, fold into the legs. Completely empty your lungs. Flip your palms, inhale all the way up. Arch back a little bit at the top. Exhale, Anjali Mudra. Tadasana. Take a breath. Three. Warrior three. So you can remember you have the options of hands over the heart in prayer, hands over the head in prayer, or your hands back just behind your hips. Choose your variation. Inhale. And then exhale. The end of the breath, banders, lean forward, raise the back leg. Push out strongly for the ball of the back foot, body parallel with the floor. When you're ready there and balance, exhale, bend the standing leg. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Hold for three breaths. If it's too much to hold with the knee bent, keep the legs straight. Ujjayi breathing, please. Gaze at the floor a little bit in front of you. Two, one more breath. And then exhale, hands to the floor. Inhale, lift the back leg up. Round the back, forehead towards the shin. You can hold the ankle if you want. Breathe, Ujjayi, relax the neck, look at the standing foot. Exhale, both feet together. Come onto your fingertips. Inhale, look up. Exhale, fold. Flip the palms. Inhale, come up. Exhale, and Jali Mudra. Right, okay, prepare, take your variation for the other side. Inhale. And then exhale quite fully and engage bandhu, Vudhyana, Mula Bandha. Keep them throughout. Fold forward. Other leg. Push out through the ball of the back foot. Get your balance first with the leg straight. And then three vinyasas. Exhale, bend. 
Inhale, straighten, do that three times and then hold three times, hold for three breaths. If you lose the connection to the perineum and the lower abdomen, as you bend the knee, the back leg is going to drop. As you bend the knee, try to work at keeping the back leg up. Just go as low as you're comfortable when you're holding. Three breaths. <laughs> and then exhale, both hands to the floor. Inhale, top leg up. Work the standing leg to just lift the top leg. It doesn't matter how high it is. Keep the breath soft, the face relaxed. Ujjayi breathing. Inhale, both feet together. Uh, sorry, exhale, both feet together. Inhale, look up, fingertips. Exhale, fold. Lift the palms, inhale up. And exhale, and Jali Mudra. Turn to the right, stand in the middle of your mat in Tadasana. Inhale, raise your arms shoulder level. Exhale. The end of the exhale, soften your knees, hop or step your feet apart. Nice wide stance. Prasarita. Keep the arms in that position. Inhale. Arch back, turn the palms up, drop the shoulder blades, squeeze the shoulder blades, look up. Exhale, hips back, lead with the chest, bring the hands down, hold the heels or the backs of the legs. First vinyasa. Inhale, come up, arms wide, turn the palms up, arch back. Exhale, fold. Ujjayi breathing, please. On the way down, the Ujjayi wants to be strong. Inhale up. Exhale down. Three breaths. Short inhales, long exhales. Rishti nose tip. Hold the heels, if you can, or the backs of the legs. Don't pull. Don't strain. Just breathe. Try to relax when you're in the posture. Ujjayi breathing. Exhales twice the length of inhales. Feet turned out 30 degrees deeper. And then inhale, come up, same way as you went down. Exhale, hands to your waist. Inhale, arms over the head, flip the palms. Exhale, turn to the right, fold over the right leg. Keep exhaling, sweep across to the left foot. Keep the feet, both feet 30 degrees. And inhale, come up. Exhale, turn and fold over the right leg. Sweep all the way across, reaching out, pushing the hips back to the left foot. Inhale, come up. Pause. Exhale, turn to the left, fold over the left leg. Sweep across to the right foot. And do that one more time. And then pause in the middle, arms over the head. Turn to the right. Strong Ujjayi. Keep both feet 30 degrees. Fold over the right leg. Bring the hand to the outside of the leg or the foot. Or if you can keep the fingers interlocked and press the hands to the floor outside the foot, do that. Three breaths. Gently gaze at the back heel. Neck relax. That's your left heel. Ujjayi breathing. Try to keep equal weight in both feet. So transfer the weight through the pelvis. Keep the back leg working and active. Beautiful. 
the inhale, come up, pause in the middle, turn to the left, same thing, three breaths. The end of the exhale, cultivate a little bit, Mulunudhyana Bandha. Exhale, inhale short, exhale long. Gaze gently at the back heel, it's going to help your mind to relax. When you're ready, come up. Turn to the front. And exhale, hands to waist. Inhale. Exhale. Step or hop the feet together. Turn to face the front, lead and return sequence. Tadasan, look hard. Inhale, arms widen overhead, flip your palms. Exhale, palms face forward. Inhale, arch from the upper back, don't bend your knees. Exhale, hips back, fold all the way. Little shallow inhale, back of the heart. Exhale, squat down all the way, Ukatas, and all the air out of the lungs till you feel the perineum. Keep it. Inhale a little bit, back of the heart. Hold, hop or step, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths. Normal inhale, long exhale, optional bandas at the end of each breath. Be together, please. Chin towards the chest, eyes closed. Look, nabby navel. Bring your hands a little bit wider apart and then bring it, not too much. And then bring your inner elbows towards each. Yes. That's it. See your arms go straight. Yes, that's nice. Better. Try to extend from your index fingers through your shoulders to your sit bones. After your three breaths, find your way. After the long exhale to Ukatasan, and then sit down Dandasan. Inhale, bring the arms over your head. Chest up, chin down. Exhale, don't move. Inhale, roll onto your back, arms over your head. Exhale, hands beside your hips. Take rest, feet together, arms close to the body, eyes closed. No J breathing, awareness in the heart. Inhale, bring your right arm over your head, feet together. Supta vinyasas. Exhale, raise the right leg, right arm straight up, make a U shape. Pause, point the fingers towards the ceiling, the toes towards the ceiling, pull the lower back down. Inhale, lower. One, on two, on three, on four, on five. Exhale up on one, on two, on three, on four, on five. Pause, lift up. Inhale down, on two, on three, on four, on five. Really keep stretching. Same arm, change legs. Inhale, come up. One, two, three, four. Five, pause. Inhale down. Do one more on that side. Pause. 
pause, lift up, inhale down. Just keep that OJ really smooth. Keep your face really relaxed. Exhale, right hand beside your hip. Inhale, left arm over your head. Exhale, left arm, left leg, twice. Make it slow, make it count. Feel the breath. Don't forget the pause at the end. When everything lifts up, the lower back goes down. So you feel grounded as you ascend through the toes and the fingers. And then when you've finished on that left side, just change legs for two. <clears throat> Your eyes closed and ideally your gaze is down through the body into the perineum, Mula. When you're finished, both hands are beside the hips. Feet together, arms beside the body, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Oh, sorry, inhale, bring both hands over the head. Exhale, raise both legs, both arms. U-shape. <laughs> Inhale, lower halfway, arms and legs. Exhale, come up. You can bend the knees if it's too much for you. And then inhale, halfway. Really engage your quadriceps, push out through the feet, extend through the fingers. And come up, exhale. And then halfway, inhale. Hold for three breaths. That's a lot more than halfway, Robert. <laughs> three breaths. Eyes closed, look perineum, it will help. Lower abdomen, Uddiyana Bandha on. And then in, exhale, come up. Take the big toes with the first two fingers or hold your legs. Inhale there, exhale wide. Don't worry too much about your neighbor, everyone. And then inhale together. And exhale wide. Stay there, take an inhale. Take a long exhale. Hold the breath out. Banders. Lift the head and the chest. Look past the groin, horizon line. Pause. Inhale, lower the head. Exhale completely. Perineum, lower abdomen, lift the head and the chest, look horizon line, and try to push the hands into the feet and the feet into the hands to lift the chest more. Let your legs go wide. Inhale, head down. Exhale, stay. Inhale, legs together. Exhale, arms over the head, legs to the floor. And next breath, bring your hands beside your hips, take rest. Switch off Ujjayi, awareness in the heart. Feet together, inhale, arms over the head, flip the palms. 
Exhale, don't move. Hold the breath out, sit up, fold over the legs. Hold the feet. Inhale, come up, arms over the head. You can help yourself sit up if you need to, if you can't do it without the hands. And go all the way down. Sorry, just stay there a minute. Stay there. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, go down to your back. Exhale. Fully hold the breath out, sit up, fold over the legs. Inhale, come up halfway, hands over the head. Exhale, fold, Pashimottanasana. Take the big toes, take the outsides of the feet, interlock round the feet, whatever's working for you. And then inhale, and exhale, fold. Round back, head hangs loose, eyes closed. Look nappy, navel. We take a couple of breaths together. Fully exhale. Inhale on one, on two, on three. Exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six. Look nappy, navel. Little pause. Inhale on one, on two, on three. Exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six. Little pause. Inhale on one, two, on three. Exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six. Pause. Relax more, Eva. Don't pull. Inhale on one, on two, on three. Exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six. Optional banders. Look, Nabby. Release banders. Inhale on one, on two, on three. Exhale on one, on two, on three. Four, five, on six. Pause or banders. Release the banders before you inhale. Just three more breaths like that in your own time. Whatever relax. It's not about getting yourself to go deeper into the posture. It's about going deeper into the breath. And, uh, Steadiness of the gaze into the nabby navel, the concentration of the prana there. Spine will naturally release if you lengthen the exhales. When you're ready, flip your palms. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hands behind you 10 inches. Fingers forward, tabletop or with the knees bent or legs straight, pull what not you choose. And inhale, lift your hips, feet together, knees together, please. Exhale, come down. Second vinyasa, inhale up. Head goes back last. Exhale down. Ujjayi breathing, please. And then inhale up. Hold, exhale, don't move. Inhale, nudge your hips a little bit higher. And exhale, slowly down. Keep your hands where they are. Inhale, bend your knees in towards your chest. Lift your feet up, straighten your legs. Niralamba. Navasana, supported boat pose. Push the chest up. Gaze at the toes. Breathe. Strong Ujjayi. Exhale, lower the heels to the floor. 
cross the ankles, hands to the floor, just step back to a downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward to plank pose. Exhale, knees down, chin down, chest down, hips high. Inhale, forward to a low cobra. Exhale, seat to heels, long back, down dog. Take two breaths in downward facing dog. Eyes closed, look navel, normal inhales, long exhales. At the end of the next exhale, hold the breath out, hop or step forward, Ukatasana squat down, empty your lungs. Separate your knees, sit down, Dandasana. Inhale, arms over your head. Exhale, don't move. Inhale, round your back, lay down on the back. Arms over the head. Exhale, hands beside your hips. Inhale, bend both knees, feet together, knees together, heels close to the buttocks. Optional, hold the ankles. Satu Bandhasan Vinyasa. Inhale, lift up. Rock the shoulders under a bit more if you can. Palms flat on the floor if you're not holding the ankles. Exhale down. Try and keep the feet together. Inhale up, so the inhale is now deeper, all the way up under the collarbones, stretch your lungs, exhale down, eyes closed, look hot, inhale up, hold, feet together Sophie, deep inhales, short exhales, eyes closed, Look to center of chest, Hridaya. Breathe breaths. After your third breath, just push the hips a little higher on the inhale. Exhale, come down, squeeze the knees to your chest, Apanasana. You can wrap your arms around and hold your opposite elbow or forearm. And exhale, squeeze the knees down. Inhale, release a little bit. Exhale, squeeze the knees down. And bring the feet to the floor and inhale, come into shoulder stand or half shoulder stand or your variation. We're just going to do a short shoulder stand sequence today. Simple shoulder stand practice, no vinyasas. I want you to start in half shoulder stand today. So your torso is at 45 degrees, your hands are closer to your buttocks, your legs are at 45 degrees and your knees are bent. Your face is relaxed and you have Ujjayi breathing. Relax a bit more, hips back a bit more, more like that, yeah. Come into half shoulder stand. Hakan. Tip your hips back, bend your knees. Just relax there a minute. Close your eyes. Look down into the back of the throat, Kantakupa. Behind the throat pit, into the back of the throat space, where the Ujjayi lives. Just feel that the Ujjayi is natural there. Relax your third eye, your upper palate, let your eyeballs sink. Relax the soft palate and the tongue, the inside of the mouth and the jaw. It's very important there's no tension in the jaw. The hinge of the jaw needs to relax. Then relax the throat pit and then soften the back of the throat where your gaze is. And now you'll have natural ujjayi with no strain and you'll be relaxed in your face and you're calm in the shoulder stand. There's no struggle. That's shoulder stand. The moment you feel tension, there's not shoulder stand. 
And you can stay there and breathe. Or if you're comfortable in shoulder stand practice, you can now come into the full shoulder stand, going straighter, elbows closer, hands more down the back. But do not lose that breath and do not lose that relaxation in the face. If you do, come back to half shoulder stand. If you're comfortable in the full shoulder stand, start to do the Asama Vritti breathing. Normal inhale, exhale longer. Up to twice the length in the exhale. Optional, end of the exhale, bandas. You know what that means? Just breathe. Whenever you feel tension coming back into your face or your breath, go through those release points in the head, come back to the gaze in the cantacupa throat, back of the throat. So you're gradually cultivating the ability to hold this posture for longer periods of time in a completely relaxed state. you can obtain the benefits of one of the most powerful mudras in the practice. Okay. On the exhale, you can lower your feet into plow if you can maintain that breath, or bring the knees to the forehead. The feet come to the floor. You can release the hands and bring them over and towards your big toes. That's quite good, actually. Leave that there. Or you can release the hands back to the altar. You choose. If your feet don't come to the floor, keep your hands on your back. If you're holding your feet, and uh, then push your hips up. And keep the same breath. Don't let that throat and face become tense. And give you Jay, please. If you're comfortable with your arms over your head, extend your arms straight towards the ceiling outside your legs. Interlock your fingers and push your palms away. And then as you slowly exhale, thread the needle of your arms with your legs as you come down. Otherwise, roll down in the normal way. Lots of little breaths or one long exhale. Bring the hands beside the hips, take a breath. And then do your variation of fish pose. Matsyasana. You can do any variation you want. Legs straight, legs crossed, lotus. Anything you want. Counterpose that shoulder stand with the head back and the throat open. Good. Three breaths, it's a back bend, so the inhales are long and the exhales are short. And you want to draw that breath all the way up onto your collarbones. And then when you're taking the last breath, which is going to be the next one, Hold the breath in for three to five seconds. Eyes closed, look, nasaka, nose tips. <laughs> that's a nice, that's a good one, Lisa. That's a new one on me. <laughs> and then make your way down. Yeah, with legs crossed, that's good. I just don't know why I'd never thought of it before. <laughs> Bend your knees, hug your knees. Cross your ankles, hold your feet. Inhale, rock up, exhale, rock back three times. And then just come up into a seated pose and extend both legs forward in Dandasana. And we're going to take the next mudra, Maha Mudra. 
if you need a thin block to sit on or blanket, please feel free. Find the fr front edge of your sit bones, whichever variation you're doing. And then uh, move your right leg out to the right 30 degrees. Put the leg straight. Bend the left knee, bring the sole of the left foot to the inner thigh or the heel back to the perineum. Support that left knee if it's up in the air. And inhale, float your arms over your head. And as you exhale, turn so your shoulders are equidistant to your foot and fold over the right leg. Inhale, come up and keep facing over that right leg so your shoulders are the same distance from the foot and then slowly exhale, go down. First two fingers of the right hand and then the first two fingers of the left hand or bring your hand onto your leg. And then inhale, lift up so the spine's straight. The arms are straight. And then on the exhale, bring your chin down towards your chest, keeping the chest lifted. Close your eyes and look nabby navel, chin down. Chin all the way down to the sternum if you can, so the back of the neck is long. And we'll breathe together. Exhale, everyone. Inhale on one, on two, on three. Exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six. Pause, hold the breath out. Banders are optional. Bring your chest up. Again, inhale on one, on two, on three. And exhale, six. So you can just continue on your own now. You've got the option of just keeping your awareness, your gaze in your navel with the eyes closed. Or if you're comfortable there, at the end of each breath, hold the breath out, chin to sternum. Perineum lifts, lower abdomen and up. Just for a couple of seconds. And then release the banders before you inhale. Do that three more times. Don't round your back. Keep your chest lifted. Keep your arms straight. And lift your chest up. And then bring your chin slightly down. You keep that length in the spine. And when you're ready, do the three little pratty kriyas, keeping hold of the foot on the inhale. Exhale, round the back forehead towards the knee. Do that two more times. And then when you finish that, come up. Arms over the head, flip the palms. Meet in Dandasana. Do the other side in your own time. <clears throat> Remember to move the left leg out 30 degrees, so you've got that 120 degree angle between the legs before you begin. That's actually a little bit too much. So about there. Yeah. Okay, same with you, it's a bit too much. Yeah. Don't overdo that 30 degrees. Work on the breath pattern that suits you best. Very important where you put your gaze. Marmal point with the eyes closed is nabby navel. And if you're holding the breath out, you'll really concentrate the prana there when you do the bandhas. The gaze will help. UJ breathing, please.
chest out, chin down. So only your shoulders rise up. If they do, your sternum will retract. You got to keep your sternum lifted. And then do the three little pratty kriyas when you finish the next lap breath. Rounding the back towards the leg three times. And then when you finish, come out the same way. Go into Dandasana again. And then bend both knees and come into Bhattakanasana, cobbler pose. Still sitting on your blocks if you're on a block. Hello. Cobra pose, counter pose from Mahamudra. Hold the feet, lift the chest. Stay nice and upright with the chest lifted. Bring the chin down, close the eyes, look perineum. With the gaze in the perineum, smooth with J breaths. Keep your mind calm, relax your face. Keep your chest, Charlotte. Move your feet forward a few inches, exhale, fold. Round your back now. Forehead towards the soles of the feet if they go. Eyes closed, look perineum. Relax your arms forward, your fair way down, and relax your shoulders. Completely passive. Shavasana now. Flip your palms, inhale, come up. Exhale, hands under your knees, lift the knees. Dandasana. Inhale, arms over your head, flip your palms. Exhale, don't move. Inhale, come down to your back. Exhale, hands beside your hips. Shavasana. Arms away from your body, feet wide, palms up. Roll your head a little bit if you need to. <clears throat> Relax. So let go of you, Jay, breathing. Relax your forehead, upper palate, eyes, soft palate, tongue, jaw, Throat pit, back of the throat, heart, navel, perineum, top of thighs, knees, ankles, big toes. Big toes, ankles, knees, top of thighs, 
perineum, navel, heart, back of throat, front throat, soft palate, upper palate, third eye, heart, keep awareness in the heart, completely relax. When your mind wanders, rest it back in the heart. Feel the breath begin there. Feel the breath return. Deep in your breath. Feet together, arms by your side. Inhale, arms over your head. Stretch your body and then make your way into a seated position for pranayama meditation. Cross-legged, sitting on something or kneeling on your blocks. <coughs> Sit up with a nice long spine. Choose a sustainable posture. Close your eyes, bring your hands into chin mudra, palms face up on the backs of your, on your knees with the first finger to the thumb, chest lifted, chin slightly down. Natural breathing. Exhale, drop your awareness to your perineum. Inhale, draw the prana, the breath through the spine. Turn it into the center of the head, Ajna Chakra. Exhale, draw it down through the spine. Tuck it to the center of pelvic floor, Muladhara. Pause. Inhale up. Trace the spine with the breath. Center of skull. Exhale down. the breath turn, inhale up, third eye in line with the eyebrows, center of the skull, exhale down, feel a little bit of tone in the perineum, inhale up, Bow down. Mm. 
นะครับชาวดาวนนี้นะฮะรับ just a heart level r e s p r o n in the heart begin the blessing meditation as the breath moves in mentally repeat blessings too as the breath moves out the name of the first being that comes into your mind Inhale blessings to exhale the second being and just continue in that way. Don't use your mind to think and make a list. Completely relax your mind, keep your awareness in your heart. Allow free association of the mind to whoever comes. And whoever it is, you bless them with everything you've got. Your whole being, your whole heart. And you don't hold anything back. And the next breath takes you to the next being. You're trying, you're not trying, it will just happen, you'll expand your circle of compassion. You keep going to people outside your normal circle. There's no limit to the circle of your compassion. Keep going in that way. Keep your forehead and your eyes really relaxed.
Next time you exhale, I'd like you to bless yourself. Just as you are right now. With a deep sense of love and compassion for yourself. And then on your next exhale, bless all those who have left their bodies and who are still suffering in this conflict and love. Try not to think of them as victims, but as your own family, your own loved ones. You remove the separation. The yogi doesn't get out of the world. The yogi feels the world and the suffering of the world more deeply because the yogi is connected to everyone. few moments, just a calm, natural breath. And bring your hands into Anjali Mudra and inhale deeply for all. May all beings everywhere, may all beings everywhere be happy and free, be happy and free. May I offer my life, may I offer my life, all beings everywhere, all beings everywhere. Loka samasta sukhino pavantu om shanti 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 om peace 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 for shanti for those who have left the body Second Shanti for those still in the body. Third Shanti for those yet to come. O adorable Lord of mercy and love, salutations and prostrations unto thee. Thou art omnipresent, omnipotent, omniscient. Thou art Satyatananda. Thou art existence, knowledge and bliss absolute. Thou art the indweller of all beings. Grant us an understanding heart, equal vision, Balance mind, faith, devotion, and wisdom. Give us in us 
strength to resist temptation and control the mind, free us from anger, greed, lust, ang hatred, jealousy and prejudice, fill our hearts with divine virtues, let us behold thee in all these names and forms, let us serve thee in all these names and forms, let us ever remember thee, let thy name be ever on our lips, let us abide in thee forever and ever. Om Buru Sakurus Bhagavan Ki Jai. Remind yourself of the intention you made for your practice. Be humble, simple, tolerant, and merciful. Develop intense aspiration for the truth, however that manifests in your life. May you strive as dynamic yogis and have a nice Easter. Namaste. Thank you so much, everyone.